And so our whole goal is to leverage IIoT, so the industrial internet of things, this ecosystem of smart stuff in your plant, using industry 4.0 methodologies, so that's report by exception and edge driven and lightweight and open architecture, to create digital factories that run much more efficient than legacy factories. Mastermind Step 2, which will take place at the very beginning of December. Digital Mastermind Step 2 is really two components. Number one, what is the role of ERP in digital transformation? And number two, how do you integrate ERP into an IIoT infrastructure? And so for those of the those folks who participated in Digital Mastermind Step 1, we are going to use the existing IIoT infrastructure and what we're going to do is bolt ERP into it. We're going to show you how to connect it, how to convert a BAPI into your namespace, namespace structure, and how to work with it. And then we're also going to talk about what the role of ERP is. What kind of information is in the ERP you care about that you want to consume? What kind of information does the ERP want to consume from the operational technology? We're going to talk about that stuff too. So that's announcement number one. We are ready to do step two of Digital Mastermind, which is going to take place in, in the beginning of December, and we will be launching it this week with early bird pricing which we highly the seats are limited we're going to be we're actually going to tear down the number of people that we allow to be in the class this time we had more people than we probably should have had in, in step one so we're actually going to squeeze it down and and anybody who can't get into the initial will have to they'll have to watch you know they can purchase the recording and watch it that way so if you want to participate live we highly recommend you get involved in the early bird price which we're going to offer this week. <laughs> Two, the, the second big announcement, this is what I'm really excited about. We've been thinking, talking about this for the last couple of months. So one of the things that we do at Intellic Integration, one of our biggest roles in, the, in Industry 4.0 is we, do, we assess organizations. So we do digital transformation maturity assessments and we do roadmaps. So many, many clients hire us. I spend most of my year doing this actually. I get hired. Uh, one of our other solutions architect gets hired, we leverage our entire team, and we'll, we'll engage with a customer to evaluate their organization top to bottom. We do a digital transformation maturity assessment. How far along are you on the process? You may not even know that you're far. You may have no idea, or you may not know you're behind, behind the eight ball. So that's, step, that's part one. Part two is we deliver a roadmap. It's essentially a document that contains the full assessment and our recommendations for how you should digitally transform your organization, including what should, what's the first step? What's the first thing you should do, okay? So one of the ideas that we've been throwing around is, you know, this has been a very, very busy year for assessments and digital and, and, um, and roadmaps. Why? Because of COVID. Many, many manufacturers discovered that they were way behind the eight ball when it came to Industry 4.0 and IIoT, right? The ability there were many plants that couldn't operate because they couldn't operate, they, they didn't have any operations that they could operate remotely. And so what's happened is, is that there were the, the, the clients who had vision, who had the vision, they contacted us right away. And we basically got booked. You know, we ended up having to stop accepting op opportunities, right? So um, we had to stop, we had to basically, we, we got completely booked and we had to turn people away. So one of the ideas that we discovered, you know, we're in obviously in high demand. We're, you know, we're very, we have high visibility within industry 4.0 and IIoT. Most people want us to do their evaluation or even me particularly, and I'm only one guy. So, um, and I, and so one of the things that we decided is, listen, everyone needs to do digital transformation maturity assessments. Everyone needs, needs to have it done. And everyone needs to have a plan or a path to digitally transform, okay? Everyone needs it. So what we wanna do is we wanna take our good fortune from early in the year, and we wanna pass that good fortune onto the community. So one of the things that I had talked about with our other solutions architect, we did not book um, any assessments for November and December because we wanted to take the holidays off. So we, we have basically two months free, nine weeks each of us free, because we, we intentionally didn't allow anyone to book us in November or December. And what we decided that we're gonna do is we are, we're gonna go ahead and do assessments. 
we're just going to, what we're going to do is we want to do up to nine one week assessments each. So the assessment would start on Monday and it would end on Friday. Monday would be uh, the 23 question. So day one of the assessment with a customer is going to be answering this 23 question questionnaire that we have that basically assesses your where you are on the maturity, digital transformation maturity scale. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday morning, the client will schedule meetings with all the internal people we need to talk to. So that is, you know, a member of your IT group, member of quality, a member of operations, a member of engineering and automation, and a member of the executive leadership group. Generally five meetings, right? We'll talk about that, what applications you have, what does your architecture look like, all that kind of stuff. Then Thursday afternoon and Friday morning, we will compile everything and we will create a roadmap document that will be your digital transformation maturity level and what should your first step be? What should you be doing if you want to digitally transform? And what, what Michael and I have decided to do is to essentially pay it back to the community. So yes, we still have to charge for it because we're a business and our board is never going to let us not do that. But what we're going to do is take all the good fortune from early in the year and we're going to pass it on to the community. So to the people who should have been doing assessments but didn't do them for whatever reason they were too expensive they didn't have the time they didn't think about it they didn't know who to call this is your opportunity the the rate is going to be less than half than what the normal rate is because we're doing this essentially at cost that's what we're going to basically going to do we're going to pass it on for the holidays to those manufacturers to those industry uh to those industries that need to do these assessments they need the answers quickly and they need it efficiently. And so I'm really excited to announce, we just finalized it this morning that yes, we both agree we're gonna, we're willing to do these assessments through the holidays, through November and December, and let's try and have the biggest impact we can. So each of us are agreeing to do as many as nine assessments each between now and the end of the year, there will be one, essentially one week assessment. So um, Zach and Vaughn are putting together the contact form and all that kind of stuff. We're gonna basically book things out. Um, I highly recommend, so who, who should be doing this? If you're, a digital, if you're a manufacturer who has not done a digital transformation maturity assessment, you should absolutely do it. If you are a manufacturer who doesn't wanna spend a lot of money on a digital transformation assessment, who wants a roadmap, wants to know where they should start, who wants an, an, a third party to take a look impartially at all your systems, your entire business top to bottom, and point out where the gaps are. Where are your hurdles gonna be? You know, who's gonna assess what your pain points are and identify pain points you're not aware of? You're the one who should do it. What are you gonna get? Number one, you're gonna know where you are in the digital transformation maturity scale. You know, are you behind the, are you ahead of the curve? Are you behind the curve? You're gonna know that. And number two, you're gonna know where you should start. It's gonna, the, the roadmap is gonna contain what your architecture should look like. It's going, to contain, it's going to contain any risks that we've identified. What are the hurdles you're going to run into as you try to digitally transform? It's also going to contain where is the maximum amount of value going to be found immediately, which is what you focus on initially. So we're very excited to announce this. Um, I personally, we do a lot of, um, I don't want to say charity, but we um, hashtag make a difference is, is a thing for us. We, if we, we've hijacked the term and this is our opportunity to hashtag make a difference for people in the last two months of the year who really should have done this in March and April. Mm -hmm. And real quick, uh, real quick, Walker, before our audience, before the viewer goes down and fills out the app, the form, uh, interest form down below, before you fill out the interest form down below, I think it's important to touch on why we're doing this again about saving and creating middle-class jobs. Yeah. So, you know, why is it I do industrial automation? What's the reason? And our, we are a mission driven company. So we are not a profit driven company. We are for profit because primarily we can't become 501c3 doing what we do. Otherwise we'd be 501c3. Um, we are for, we're a for profit company, but we're mission driven. And our mission is to help manufacturers save and create middle class jobs by helping them do more with less. Okay. And so our whole goal is to leverage IIoT, so the industrial internet of things, this ecosystem of smart stuff in your plant, using industry 4.0 methodologies, so that's report by exception and edge driven and lightweight and open architecture, 
to create digital factories that run much more efficient than legacy factories. And if they run much more efficient, they increase capacity. If they add this new infrastructure, they create new high paying jobs that they've got to have to help analyze all the data and information. They fund it with their increased efficiency. They make their operations safer. They're able to move people out of more, you know, more dangerous jobs that are right on the machines to much safer jobs that are all about analyzing data and information and creating new information from data. Um, that's our mission. That's our whole mission. And the reason that we want people to go through this process is there are a lot of manufacturers out there who know they have a problem, who do not know where to start, who do not know where to turn, who do not know how to, uh, who to ask for help. And our goal is to try and touch as many of those as we can by the end of the year before we get back into the process of, you know, all, you know, all these, the, the companies that we're generally working with. That's what we're looking to do.